that's turned off. There's no battery in. There's just me memory cards that's in there. Yes, I got it out of an original Samsung phone, hence why it's a Samsung made of. But it's a class 6, so I'm not going to worry about that. Just put that back in there. I'll open the keyboard. You'll see why shortly. There's the battery in a rather creative position. There's the back cover. I don't know if this will boot up, I've not tried to run it that way. It may just boot us out and reboot. Yep. We'll see if it reboots properly this time. Sometimes it takes a couple of attempts for it to actually properly boot up. At least it did the last time I tried it. It's not going to do this time though. As you can see, the device was in R&D mode there, because you could see all the keyboard being lit up in different colours. As you can see there, Memo is actually quite happily up and running, booted, playing quite well. I expect it to reboot, yeah, because it's rebooted itself a few times. I'm not using kernel power anywhere at the moment. As you'll be able to see in a moment. But see, that's quite happily voted up there. I'd turn that off. I'll try the other option that was on that boot menu. All this corruption in the display is just because of the console, which is not normally shown. This may take a little while to boot up, just purely because. I've only ever I've only booted it up once. I'll we'll just ignore that because the battery report has not been sorted out on here yet. As you can see, I've changed the size of the screen as well. It's a bit smaller. It's a more sensible display. It's not perfect. All the settings, not the wireless. You can see it's actually connected to Wi Fi. <laughs> Don't think Bluetooth isn't even going to power up, which I wasn't expecting anywhere. Stay card and phone storage. Not available at the moment because the software to do it isn't there. As you see, it's running my donut build, which at the moment is the only one we seem to have that has remotely usable Wi Fi connection. But the major thing on this page to read is that the kernel version. Yes, it's using a standard Memo kernel, albeit it's got the Android patches. That's courtesy of user ES, which you will know of if you read the forums. Other than that, it's running and it's quite happy to browse on Wi-Fi, as far as I know anyway.
So type the wrong name in there. So it's called Google search. Just go to the right page. You see it still loads incredibly quickly. I'm pretty sure that's got to be faster than Micro B and Memo is. Fairly certain of that way. Like. Due to the simple fact. I'll just go into the actual forum topic for the operating system. That's booted up quite happily there. That's all I need to show for today. Just don't want to show I had dual boot working with properly working Wi Fi. Although it is running donut.